Hello everyone, this is Sonu Satyadas. In today's session, I'm going to discuss about the Sonar Cloud integration in GitHub Actions. So before moving to the demo, I want to brief you about the Sonar Cloud and its features. Sonar Cloud is a cloud-based uh, code analysis service. And we know that when we build the application, we have to make sure the code needs to be uh, maintainable, reliable, and uh, without any issues, uh, without any bugs, we have to build the application. For that, we can use Sonar Cloud to analyze the application code to detect these issues and bugs. So as a cloud service, you don't need to go and install or configure any uh, applications or services uh, uh, for this code analysis. No infrastructure is required. You just need to go and create an account in the Sonar Cloud, means you need to sign up and log in and then start uh, creating projects. Uh, in your Sonar Cloud account. The Sonar Cloud supports more than 25 languages, including JavaScript, .NET, Java, Python, and more. So it uses the state of art technique in the code, the static code analysis, means it uses the well-defined algorithms to detect the commonly occurring problems or bugs in from our code, whether it is a JavaScript application or it's a Java application or it's a .NET application or it's a Python application. It helps us to identify the issues in our project code. The static code analysis offers an additional layer of verification so usually as a developer, we manually test our application, we manually do a verification of the code. But on top of that, we can also use the Sonar Cloud to perform the code analysis. You can use the Sonar Cloud with all the uh, DevOps uh, technologies which is most currently available like a uh, github or big bucket cloud or azure devops gitlab so when you use the sonar cloud you need to create an organization inside the organization you need to create the projects so you can easily import the organizations from these DevOps platforms, for example, if you are using GitHub, you can import the GitHub organization into the Sonar Cloud, which will become the Sonar Cloud organization. Similarly, you can import a repository from the GitHub, which becomes the Sonar Cloud project. So the question, can we use this tool for free? Yes, Sonar Cloud is a free tool that you can use for your open source project. So if you are building an open source project, you can use this Sonar Cloud. But yes, for your private repositories, you need to go for a paid tier. For all open source public repositories, you can have the Sonar Cloud free. But for the private repositories, you need to pay for the Sonar Cloud services. But the Sonar Cloud, you cannot use with your on-premise repositories if your code base is in your on-premise location or on-premise machine. You cannot use the Sonar Cloud. But yes, you can use the on-premise uh, version of the Sonar Cloud, that is Sonar Cube can be used. So typically when you 
use the sonar cloud you are going to detect the issues as well as the security hotspots so these are the two things that we usually identify using the sonar cloud issues means a problem that needs to be uh, fixed so it may be a bug or it may be a security vulnerability or something like that or it could be in some code smell so code smell as you can see uh, this is some kind of code that is not actually preventing the proper functioning of the program but yes it may negatively impact your applications execution uh, and maybe it will be affecting the maintainability of your application so such things you can consider as code smell but but bugs these bugs are some kind of error that is preventing the application from running successfully and this vulnerabilities this vulnerabilities uh, may be exploited by the hackers or some somebody else uh, so who can access your applications security credentials or some kind of uh, secure information so anything that is uh, uh, exploited by an ex external user which is a part of the security violation we can uh, call it as vulnerability so the code smell bugs and vulnerabilities comes under the issues and there are some security hotspot as you can see security hotspots are the areas of the code that may cause the security issues and therefore need to be reviewed yes it need to be reviewed but it's not going to be a big problem but it's always better to recheck this code an issue is almost always a real problem while a security hotspot can often be a false alarm sometimes the the code analysis tool may give a false alarm uh, because of some uh, wrong calculations but yes it's still uh, required to go and check what is the problem in the code you can use the sonar cloud in different phases of the development you can use the sonar cloud in your development ids you will get the uh, linter tools for the ids suppose if you are using visual studio or visual studio code eclipse or the intel j idea any kind of editor you are using you can use the uh, linter tool for the quality check and that will give the feedback uh, about your code uh, analysis immediately when you build the application using that id secondly you can use the sonar cloud during the pull request pull request means if you are creating a feature branch and then adding some uh, features to the code and then trying to merge with the master branch before merging you want to review the code by somebody else so you can raise a pull request so during this pull request that means before merging the code with the master branch or main branch you can run the sonar cloud uh, analysis to detect the vulnerabilities and issues it is also possible to analyze the code when it is in the code base so there are some kind of issues and security hotspots can be identified only during the code is merged or only at the time of building the application to find such problems you need to uh, run the 
analyzer uh, in the entire code base as a single unit in case of some uh, specific type of languages and sometimes you need to compile your application and then check the or then then use the analyzer for doing this sonar cloud is providing two approaches one is automatic analysis and another one is ci based analysis with automatic analysis the sonar cloud detect every time that you make a pull request uh, is merged and analyzed a new state of the code means in in github whenever you push your code it automatically start analyzing this there is no need for any kind of build process means you don't need to go and run any kind of uh, build task no build workflow required it automatically executes the uh, sonar cloud analysis and languages like uh, javascript or python you can use uh, with this uh, automatic analysis but there are some kind of uh, languages which is compiled languages like uh, java or c c++ or .net you cannot use this automatic analysis such cases you have to go with the ci based analysis that refers to the configuration of sonar cloud uh, so that it performs the analysis as part of your regular continuous in integration process the continuous integration process means you are executing a ci pipeline or ci workflow in github typically maybe you are building the dotnet application or you are building a, a java maven application in such scenarios you can execute a ci based analysis but in such cases you have to use a uh, scanner tool so which is available as a uh, software which you need to install in the uh, host machine which is performing this build task so that scanner is going to perform the ci based analysis and produces the result let's start the demo here i have an express api application this express api application is uh, connecting to the aws uh, dynamo db service and it offers a uh, different uh, restful services that can be consumed from the client applications so I have opened this project in Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio, you have an extension called a Sonar Lint. So I have already installed this Sonar Lint extension. So this extension will give the feedback about your code quality. For example, if I go to one of the JavaScript file which I have created. Suppose if I have this uh, JavaScript file. Inside this JavaScript files, whenever I declare some variables which is not used or the variables which is declared using the var keyword but it can be declared using the let keyword or constant. So this sonar lint is giving you the uh, feedback that the code can be replaced to uh, make it more reliable and maintainable here you can see in this update method i have declared three variables but i have not used these three variables so you can see a warning which is uh, popped up by this sonar lint that removed this uh, useless assignment to variable location ID and this is identified by this sonar lint. Similarly, you can have extensions in Visual Studio, Eclipse 
NetBeans and also in JetBrains IntelJ IDE. So I'm going to push this uh, application code into the GitHub repository. For that, first I'm logging into the GitHub, uh, GitHub account and creating a new repository inside my account. So let's go and create a new repository. I'm creating a new repository with the name employee express api and let's mark it as a public repository since we are going to use the free plan of the sonar cloud so we have to use this public repository let's create this repository so our repository has been created now i need to push this application code to this repository. For that, I can use this commands to initialize the git repository and push this code to the git repo. So let me open the terminal. In this terminal, I'm running this git init command to initialize the git repository. Then git add command to add all the files into the stage mode and then committing this changes to the local repository. Now I need to push all these changes to the remote repository. So for that, First, I need to uh, add the remote repository and also here I am going to use the branch name as main so I can use these three lines of code so that I am copying it and then executing from the terminal. You can see the code has been pushed into the remote repository. Yes, I have this code available in GitHub. Now we need to set up the Sonar Cloud project. So since this is a JavaScript project, it is going to do a uh, static or automatic analysis uh, in our project code and identifies the uh, bugs vulnerabilities, uh, security hotspots, and uh, uh, the other issues. So let's go to the Sonar Cloud. So I have already logged in to the Sonar Cloud account with my email ID. And now I need to create a new repository, means new project. So for that, I can create a project from GitHub. So when I click on this uh, create a new project, it is asking us to import an organization from GitHub. But yes, you can also do it manually by specifying the organization details and other things. But it's, it is recommended to use the import option. So I click on this import an organization from GitHub. So I need to connect or install this Sonar Cloud in my GitHub. Means I have to successfully log in to the GitHub account from my uh, Sonar Cloud. So this is my organization name. So let me select that. Give my GitHub password. So here I need to update the configuration, whether I need to go for all repositories means do I need to use all the repositories from this organization in my Sonar Cloud or only some selected repositories. So if you want to use only selected repositories, you can choose this option. 
or you can choose all repositories option. So here I am selecting this all repositories so that I can access all of the repositories from my uh, Sonar Cloud account. So let's select all repositories. But in your case, if you are interested, you can select only the uh, particular repositories that you want to connect with Sonar Cloud. Now I have connected to the GitHub. This is my organization. So I can give the organization uh, name as the key. So you can see the organization key. So which I want to keep uh, same as my GitHub account or GitHub organization name. Let's continue. And here I can choose a plan whether I need to go with a paid plan or a free plan. So I'll choose a free plan and then create an organization. So this creates an organization and now we need to create a project. So I have already created a repository which is employee express API. I can search and add that repository as the project. Here you can see employee express API is there. Let me select and then click on this setup. Since it is a JavaScript project, it has start analyzing this project automatically. This is the automatic analysis of uh, Sonar Cloud. So we need to wait a couple of minutes to complete this analysis process and uh, we will get the result displayed on this particular home screen. The analysis process has been completed for this Employee Express API project and you can see the latest activity uh, information in the bottom. So you can also go to the main branch. When you go to this main branch, you will see some information that is 188 line of code and maintainability. Under the maintainability, you will be able to see the code smells 18. The security review, you can see two security hotspot and no bugs and no vulnerabilities. If I go to this code smells, you will see the complete list of uh, code smells where you can see the information unexpected where use let or constant instead so when you click on that you will see the detailed information where you see the where swagger js doc can be replaced with the let keyword or constant keyword using the automatic analysis Sonar Cloud is able to detect the vulnerabilities or code smells and bugs and even the security hotspot in my existing project. Now, if I want to use uh, the code coverage, suppose if I am performing or I am executing uh, some test, suppose if I have written some kind of uh, unit testing code using Jest or Mocha or Chai or some other testing framework, which I want to uh, uh, include in my code analysis and I want to detect what is the code coverage uh, for that unit testing code and that ne results need to be displayed here. But if I want to use the code coverage analysis using the Sonar Cloud, you need to use the uh, CI Build process means you need to use a uh, CI based analysis. For that, you need to create a GitHub workflow. Inside the workflow file, you can specify the Sonar Cloud analysis along with the uh, unit testing and code coverage. To create a 
uh, CA based workflow, first we need to create a personal access token for our Sonar Cloud. So switch to the Sonar Cloud dashboard and then create a personal access token. So I can go to the account, go to the security tab, and then we can generate a token. Uh, for generating the token, you can specify a friendly name for the token. So, GitHub Workflow Token. And then generate. This will generate a token that you can copy and save somewhere. So here I'm taking this uh, token and switching to the GitHub uh, repository and creating a secret. So let's go to the repository settings page and then go to the secrets and in the actions I can generate a new repository secret. So click on this new repository secret and then you can specify the name of your secret that you want to use in your workflow. Usually we use the uh, secret name as sonar cloud underscore token and then paste the secret value here which you have copied from the sonar cloud uh, website and then create that secret. Now you have successfully configured the secret uh, which you can use in your workflow and then go to your application and then create a folder with the name .github inside the project root directory. Inside the github folder you can create another subfolder with the name workflows. Inside the workflows folder, you can create any number of GitHub action workflows. So here I'm creating a YAML file with the name build.yaml. Inside this file, you can create a workflow code. So here you can see this is a uh, GitHub action workflow that it can be triggered manually here you can see i have specified the trigger type as workflow dispatch also i can uh, execute this workflow uh, when i push some code into the main branch and also i can uh, run this workflow while creating a pull request so here inside the job i have a sonar cloud job and this is using an Ubuntu latest uh, runner and we have a couple of steps defined inside this job. As you can see, the first one is the checkout action and the second one is installing the dependencies that is yarn, which is installing all the dependencies. And then I have this test just coverage. So just is a uh, unit testing library used for uh, JavaScript applications. So in my uh, sample application, I have uh, installed the chest as a dependency and also I have a couple of uh, JavaScript files created for testing the uh, unit testing and code coverage functionality. So here you can see I have this calculator.js which contains two functions sum and subtract and also I have uh, created the test file which is test.js where I have this unit testing code defined. So you can see uh, I have uh, two unit testing uh, code defined. One is to check the sum function and the other one is to test the subtract function. So these uh, unit testings I want to uh, execute 
and the code coverage need to be analyzed so for that I am using this just and then I have the uh, sonar cloud github action that is going to do the uh, CI based analysis uh, when I execute this github action uh, workflow and for executing this sonar cloud uh, github action we need to pass the github token as well as the sonar token so here you can see the github action or uh, github action is using a github token which is a uh, predefined uh, token value the, anything which is starting with the github it will be a, a predefined uh, constants or predefined secrets that we don't need to define so that is taking the github token and we also have a sonar token which is uh, reading the sonar cloud token secret which we have st stored inside the repository secrets so when we execute this workflow this will start uh, analyzing this code and then uh, generating the reports uh, including this code coverage once it is once it is done we can now uh, push this changes to the github repository for that i can open this terminal stage all the changes that is made commit those changes and then we can push these changes so here it is going to push all the changes to the remote repository and now we can switch to the github repository in this github repository you can see the workflow is started executing because we have defined on push to the main branch it will start executing this workflow so here we have this CI based uh, uh, analysis started so let's check the status of execution Here you can see it is installing the dependencies. The test coverage is successfully completed and you can see the result here. All the test passed successfully. You can see there are two test methods and all the tests successfully passed. And the coverage report you can see here. And you can see there is uh, some issue happened in the sonar cloud scan let's check what is the reason for the failure yes you can see we need to define the project key and the organization name for this sonar cloud for that we need to create the sonar project properties file inside your project root folder for that we can switch to the project and then create a new file in the root folder give the name sonar project dot properties inside this file we can add this configuration that is sonar project key organization project name and the code coverage report path so to get this project key and the organization we can switch to the sonar cloud website and here is the project name so we can see this is your project name let's copy that then to get this 
project key and organization key you can click on this information and here we will find the project key let's copy that and put into this project key and also we can copy this organization key and then put into this organization now save this changes and this push this changes to the github repository git add dot git commit minus m properties file added and then I can push this changes to github repository yes you can see you can see in the github repository the action is now running let's go and check the status it's now installing the dependencies okay the testing and code coverage is completed and you can see the two tests which we have written for sum and subtract functions successfully completed and the code coverage result is displayed okay then there is one more result in the sonar scan you can see okay you can also find an error for javascript projects the automatic analysis is enabled by default but when we execute a ci based analysis we need to go and disable this option for that we can switch to the sonar cloud website go to administration and the analysis method you can see go into analysis method and you can see sonar cloud automatic analysis is enabled by default we can disable this option by clicking on the switch so here we, we have now disabled this automatic automatic analysis for this project now we can go back and rerun this workflow so let's go up and click on this rerun all the jobs now let's recheck the status it's now starting this job we can see now the sonar cloud scan is running This time it is successfully completed this analysis. Yes, you can see this sonar cloud uh, CI based analysis is completed. And to view this results, we can go back to the sonar cloud and refresh this page. And we will see the latest activity here. And here you can identify there are four bugs in, in under the maintainability 50 code smells and two security hotspot and the code coverage only 1.3 percentage of code coverage you can see when you click on this four bugs you will be able to see some of the bugs that you can identify here also you can see the code coverage where you will see the lines to cover is 224 and the coverage is just 1.3 percentage as you <coughs> see here this is the complete uh, uh, information about this uh, 
uh, code coverage you can also find the issues security hotspots and in security hotspots you can see what is the reason which is why it is marked as a security hotspot this you can find out the reason why it is marked as a risk and how you can fix this the method how we can fix this is also defined here so this is the solution by disabling this x powered by header from this uh, application request and response now we can see how we can create uh, and execute the sonar cloud analysis uh, during a pull request for that first i'm going to create a new branch the kit checkout minus p and i'm creating a feature branch demo so you can see i have switched into the demo branch and i can add uh, some more functions into this calculator.js so let me add the function multiply and that is going to return x into y and also i'm going to add a function to divide This is going to return x divided by y. Also, I want to export this methods multiply as well as divide. Then I can go and create the test methods for this multiply and divide. So I can create a test. multiplying two numbers then i can specify the test method expect the calculator dot multiply with two numbers maybe i can give two comma three this to be six And also, I can create a test by the numbers. And by the expect. Calculator dot multiply with so divide. So divide six comma three two. So I have uh, added this code into the feature branch. Then I can push this changes to the GitHub repository. And you can also see I want to execute this uh, workflow during this pull request. So when I open a pull request, I want to execute this uh, workflow. So I'm going to add this changes to staging. Git commit. and git push minus gen and all the branches i am pushing to the github repository now let's move to the github and we can see <coughs> we have this uh, actions here we are not executing any action because we have not 
pushed anything into the main branch but yes we can create a, a pull request here so here the feature demo has some recent pushes which we have to compare with the main branch and then merge those changes for that i am going to create a pull request so let's create a pull request so um, base branch is main and i want to compare it with the feature demo branch so i can put some comment here the multiply and divide was added with test cases and then i can create a pull request so i have created a pull request here you can see it is now start executing a uh, code analysis so if you go to the actions you can see here it start executed against this feature demo branch and once this is completed you will be able to see those uh, uh, analysis details in your pull request as well okay there is some mistake in the code so i need to go back and uh, correct this inside this okay so here there is a bracket need to be added let's remove this extra back bracket and then update this changes and then i can push so i can go back and recheck this action here now it is executing You can see in the pull request there is one uh, task is in uh, progress. Here you can see the sonar cloud process is going on. It's the uh, build process workflow is executing. Once it is completed, we'll be able to see the result in the sonar cloud website as well as in the pull request page this code the build process is going on So now this build process completed and we can go back to the pull request. So here once you click on this pull request, here you will be able to see the sonar cloud integration on the pull request. You can see here the sonar cloud quality gate is passed and uh, the code coverage information you can see and you will be redirected to the code coverage and also you can now merge this pull request if everything is completed so you can also see this pull request information in the sonar cloud dashboard where you can see here the feature slash demo branch is uh, raised a pull request and this is passed and whatever uh, code coverage you can see 42.9 ok 
okay inside this test.js we have four lines in calculator.js three lines to cover so now this is the sonar cloud integration with this pull request 